Welcome to AWS with Ethic. Today in a new uh, tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up Kubernetes and uh, Network Load Balancer. So let's get started. Uh, at first, I am in the uh, EKS. So uh, here is the EKS uh, console or dashboard. There is no cluster at this moment available. I'm going to create a cluster, set up Network Load Balancer with ELB, and <clears throat> then um, we will set up a sample application. So let's get started. At first, we are going to uh, need a couple of things. There is EKS CTL. I need to install EKS CTL in my Cloud Shell. So I, when you start a Cloud Shell, there is no EKS CTL installed. You need to install it EKS CTL. So there is a website, ekscTL.io. And uh, if you came to here, then go to introduction and then installation, copy the command for Linux. And that's it, paste it. It should be okay to set up the EKS CTL. That's done. So now let's try to run this EKS CTL, create cluster, that's it. One line, it will create one cluster, it will create node group, nodes, IAM permissions, volumes, all those things. So it takes around 10 minutes. So I'm going to pause the video and we'll come back when it's done. So uh, it looks like our clusters creation is done. If I go to the clusters, it seems active. If I go to the details, go to compute, and then I will see the node group has been created and also there are two nodes are created. If you look at the node type, it is M5 large. That is the one that is by default, it's been, it's created from the EKCTL. If you want something different, what you can do is create a new add group, create a new node group and uh, choose the one that you prefer and then just delete the existing one. We don't need that. So, uh, I'm going to use this file, so for my example, and let's go to the next steps. I'm going to clear the logs. Okay. I have an article here written in my blog to complete all the steps. I'm going to explain and then let's go over them. So, the next part is um, update the cube config. So, I'm going to copy this part because this is fixed. The last part is the cluster name, which I will copy from the actual console. This is the actual cluster. So if you run this command, it will update your local cube config. My region was actually AP South one. So use the region that is your cluster is running. For example, if your clustering is running on US East one, then you should use US East one in the region parameter. So uh, let's go to the uh, script list. Then what we have to do is uh, we need to uh, run one of the commits one by one. And uh, there are a couple of things that is variable, which is your uh, cluster name and other things are just straightforward. So I'm going to copy these three commands and I'm just going to copy it, open in a notepad. And then I'm going to just replace the cluster name with the current cluster name. This is my cluster name. So I'm just going to do this here. And this is cluster name. Okay, so others are just same. Just copy this and run it in your terminal. Then uh, we need to uh, download an IEM policy and create an IEM policy based on the JSON file. We need to download a JSON file. I need to create an IEM policy based on the JSON file. Remember, I have already uh, kind of created this IEM policy previously. So 
for me probably i will get an error that the policy already exists so if you are running it second time you will get this error but for the first time if you are trying to run it then you should see that the policy has been created so if you see this error then just read the message that a policy already exists so i for me it's not needed then uh, what we have to do is uh, copy these commands and here we have to replace the cluster with the cluster name and then the account id with account id name so i'm just going to copy the account id here and then if you copy this and run into your local let me explain what is does it is uh, create an im role with the im policy that we have been created again uh, this is creating a iam service account using this cluster and this im policy so let's try to run this command and uh, service account that is kubernetes will be excluded okay so it is creating a cloud formation template and it will take i think 10 seconds or maybe one minute so if this is done then you will get a uh, success message it is created a cloud formation template so that's why it is taking some time meanwhile it is being created let's go to our next commands so next command is installing helm so this is just a command to install helm you can just copy this command nothing needs to be changed just run it here okay it's still not done yet let's wait one more minute or maybe 30 seconds or more so all those comments are available in my blog i'm going to give the link of this blog link in the video description just copy the command replace the variables with your ones and everything else should stay as it is okay this part is done service account has been created now let's create run this command so this is going to install helm so why do we need helm we need helm to uh, like install the aws load balancer controller so i'm just going to copy this part and go to the notepad and replace the cluster name with the name that's available here that's okay so just copy this part and run into my cloud shell okay so the installation is done but it says that uh, AWS load balancer controller installed. That's awesome. So what's next? I'm going to uh, check if the installation was successful. There's too many messages. Let's clean the screen. Paste it here. And this is loading fine. I might increase the screen size a bit more that you can see. Okay. So there is two deployment was supposed to be ready and two is running so all good looks good then i'm going to create a namespace okay then i'm going to git clone one of the repositories so this is one of the repositories uh, there is a sample application there you can just git clone it okay i already have previously copied so that's okay then what we have to do is to go to that particular folder probably there is already a folder there and then you can copy these commands and actually all three and run it so if you wanted to see what is running on you can just go to my uh, github account so here is the github project don't just run blindly just go to the github project and uh, you will see 
there are two files uh, available there sample deployment.yml, sample service.yml. If you go to the details, I'm going to explain what is done here. This is a deployment, and uh, it is uh, the deployment name, and it'll be sample app. Three, re three replicas I'm going to use. The label is nginx, and the image is public is here, uh, nginx 1.2.1. And then this is the service. Here it's something interesting that in the service, we are saying that it is uh, internet facing, it is external, and it is type is load balancer. So when you define the service type load balancer, then it creates a network load balancer. And uh, if we now go to our EC2, we would see that a load, load balancer has been created. We'll go to the load balancers. The load balancer has been created. And this is this load balancer is linked to the service of this uh, sample application and we have also one command that we can see if we run it oh we already run that command so this is giving the external ip and which is the load balancer name or load balancer uh, url if you copy this and uh, run it into the browser Probably it's not ready yet. Let's see. Yeah, it is not ready yet. Provisioning. So it is sometimes taking five minutes to provision, sometimes one minute. That depends on the region. So let's wait a couple of minutes more. Okay, it is active. Now, if I refresh it, I should be able to go to a new tab. Okay, probably. Even though it's active, but for some reason it's not being showing. Let me go to some somewhere else. Okay, let's open a different browser. Sometimes they cache the DNS. I'm opening this in edge and let's see what happens here. It is taking time at the moment, but it should be okay. Yeah, here it is, welcome to Nginx. So uh, our setup was completed. This is our uh, network load balancer. And uh, we can actually now link to a domain or subdomain. So if we go to uh, details here, the listeners, we can just create a listener for 443, assign an SSL certificate and link our subdomain with this network load balancer. Then you should be able to view it using it subdomain so that's pretty simple now here we have used uh, like nginx 1.2.1 if you have some different images you can use that and run your application so this is a very simple way to uh, add network load balancer to your applications and um, you can do link your domain and then run your application in kubernetes so that's awesome it also has replicas three so that if we go uh, to kubectl, get ports, all, then you should be able to, sorry, I was having a typo, ports, and you should see that there is three ports running for the sample application. And uh, if you just kill one, the others are always there. So you have a high availability and also uh, fault tolerant. So that's it for today. And um, I'm going to now delete all those things. It's pretty simple. You can just come on, e, run ckstl, delete cluster, and then the cluster name. Copy the cluster name.
that's it. It will take time because it is deleting also by the cloud formation template. So it will take time. Be uh, patient. Um, around I think three minutes time will be taken, but it will delete everything. You don't need to manually delete anything at all. So the deletion part will be completed by here. So thank you for watching my video. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. I'm going to create more and more Kubernetes related uh, videos coming days. If you wanted to learn anything specific, then put a comment in the uh, below. And I'm also going to give the link of these uh, comments in the video description. You can just use it as a reference. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.